All right, and welcome to the first episode of a podcast no one listened to. I'm your host, Zach, and with me is some idiot that I found on the street. Hey, how's it going? I don't know who he was. I wasn't listening. <laughs> now, this is Austin. You may remember him from such uh, classic series as More Lazy Let's Plays, uh, a Let's Play series so obscure that it doesn't exist. Because we didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. I sat That's in. That's what the name. We lived up to the name. We lived up to the name. I sat in on one such recording session. Didn't even show up to the recording session. That's how. That's yeah, how, that's how lazy, lazy it was. was. Yeah. And we didn't call him. <laughs> no, I was just. I was just at at yeah at his house, full equipment set up with a with his library of games, and neither of you were there. Didn't even do it. Didn't even bother to call. That's how lazy it was. Yep. Didn't even bother to call. So anyway, this is the podcast no one will listen to. It's a podcast that... Yeah, are we are sticking with that name? Well, do you have a better name? I mean, what what about two flies on the wall? Oh, okay, I... What about I, one fly on the wall, one fly flies around? Still don't think you really... What about, get... what, what about two flies on the ceiling, fall off, climb back on wall, and then watch? I don't think you exactly know what that phrase Okay, means. okay, okay, so we got two flies, fall off wall... Decide to go to McDonald's, then figure out why Castle's better. Why? Why? Why is your thing on walls though? Why? Why? Why walls uh, and flies? Uh, just, well, two flies on the floor, fly up, hit ceiling, miss wall, fall back on floor. Look, maybe instead of just pitching names like that, you could kind of figure out what that phrase means. Come back to us, and maybe. We'll oh, I there. sat on my nuts. We're not calling it. Ow, we sat on on, on our nuts. No, not how we sat on our nuts. That was the that was the name of our failed uh, anim- animated short. Still failing. Still failing. It failed so hard that I fired you from a show that didn't ex- didn't even happen. For being lazy. For being lazy. Once which again, is, which is why you you started more lazy let's plays with our good friend Eric. Where we did nothing once again. Yeah. Kind of sensing a theme here. Sensing a theme of. <laughs> That's a good theme of you just not doing anything and expecting it to, yeah, to show up. That's that's the why. That's that's why people say that our generation is fucking failing us is because we're not like failing. That. We're the summation of failures. For us to fail, we would have had to have failed. Instead, people have failed us. I'm, I don't know. I do not follow. You see, you see, our grandparents raised our parents, who turned into rebellious a holes. Who well, then were expected to raise us, and then question why we're a rebellious a holes, and then we're somehow deemed failures because we can't find jobs because they fucked up the economy. So what you're saying is, it's everyone else's fault but ours. Damn right. So we're just taking a page out of the Dota handbook then. Yep. Yeah. Straight right up there with avoid the pudge. Avoid the pudge. You, you know what? I, I will say. I will say. In my experience as perhaps our team's most veteran mid-player, Pudge no longer scares me as much as... as uh, he as says others. this, until night falls. Until night falls. And we can't see anything <laughs> on the map. Of course. It's totally different. In in Dota, day is awesome, night is scary when it comes to Especially Pudge. Especially when Night Stalker's on the other team. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Night Stalker... No, it, it's always... And then there's always that one tiny that runs around with a shadow blade and decides it's funny to just toss you. That's me. It that, is me. That, that's you. I love doing it. It's hilarious. Uh, All of a sudden, you see a little enchanter. She's jumping around. She's like, oh, I got my little goods. And then, boom, into the air. You got you to gotta refrain from clipping the mic there. See that big old bar there? You got to refrain from that's, doing that. That's, since I've started talking, there's been a big old bar. Well, now there's a big solid bar where where you just did that. Enchantress. So, so yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, me and Austin. By the way, this is Austin. I don't know if you if I properly introduced him. I don't know. We laziness kicking in again. We, we we are avid players of Dota Two, but we are not very good at it. But we still play. He, he's anyway. not good at it. Shut the fuck up, dude. He's not good at it. The only reason... I have, like, 170 last hits per game. That's one average. game. That's one game for That's you an in average. the jungle. No, that is not an average. That is my average. Go check my profile. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you're usually the jungler. And you know why you're the jungler? It's because you can't play with anyone else I, on I, the team. Because I don't want to deal with your incompetence. Of course.
course. Of course, you get, of course, you're in confidence. The most fugly, the gross jungle, lumberjack looking guy is the is the big biggest diva on the team. Just the <laughs> the gross incompetence of everyone. Yep. Everyone sucks but me on the team. Of course. Of course, and and uh and when you're falling behind I'll throw the interest and we'll never see it coming. Yep. It's always someone else's fault. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Zach's <coughs> Moving on to what? To what? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did, did you did you want did you want did you want to make a uh, a friggin' no, topic? No, 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 no you're, you're fine. Right. You're oh, fine. you sure? You sure you don't want to criticize? Yeah, my we play? can always talk about that novel you've been writing for the past seventeen years. I haven't. <laughs> seventeen years. That's like two thirds of my life. Yeah. Get cracking. Why aren't you a doctor yet? Yeah. Why aren't you a doctor yet? No, you're the one who's trying to become a doctor, you idiot. I don't know. Failed economy. Parents fucked us. And we just went over all this. Or maybe it's because that time where you were set to put in an IV and you put in the guy's butt. Put no, butt that didn't IV happen. He, it, was, it was written on the order, clearly. Enema through anus. Isn't that what... That, that, isn't that where you put an enema, though? Yeah, anus? but somebody, somebody mixes it up. Not me, but there are other idiots. So you're saying that when you are eventually in the year what 2030 when you're a, when you're finally like a practicing surgeon or something probably close enough and you have your first uh, you you have your first patient on the operating table and you fuck up the operation it's like oh it's it's obviously it's the nurse's fault yeah she, the nurse's fault she's the one who handed me the scalpel it's all her fault even though you she asked knew what I was going to do with it <laughs> she should have been prepared what, what 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 did you do that the nurse Obviously, didn't. Know Obviously, that. I threw it at back at her, and then grabbed the buzz saw because I'm cracking open his chest. Emergency heart surgery <laughs> for a routine for a root canal for a root. You're not even a. <laughs> oh my god! I am the least qualified medical professional, even I know. And a surgeon. Oh, no, you you know nothing. You know root canal. Immediately, you got to crack open the chest, then fix the heart, and then maybe the kidneys if you got time. But you probably don't. You, you need to take an egg beater to the liver, too? Yes. The, 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 those mixed it knows egg what beaters, it did. The, the, the liver? It knows what it did. Not enough. <sighs> so as you can see, that this is just a, just a regular conversation between two idiots who wanted to just start a podcast and talk about nothing. Yes. I.e. nobody's listening. Yeah, this is a podcast. No one I'm not listening to. either. I'm not even probably gonna post this there we go see that's how that's how, that's how legitimate laziness right there no no it's not legitimate laziness it's that i'm i'm going to be trying so that nobody listens to this there we go so I'm, it's not that i'm being lazy it's that i am fervent in my efforts that no one will listen to this i will no, post I mean, it nowhere i feel like that's cheating you have to like post it at least once okay fine i will go to soundcloud where i already have like a couple episodes and and it's been up there for like, I've, I have other episodes of the podcast no one will listen, no one will listen to with uh, some some of my friends in Milwaukee, and it's been up there for like probably six months, probably more than that, and uh, it only has one view. That's because I only posted it to SoundCloud and didn't tell anyone about it. There you go. See, and there you go. So, so there now you go. now we have nobody listen to it because nobody can find it. Yeah. There we go. I will go and All right. create. Should we go to our first topic? What was our first topic? The view. And how there's not enough men on it. I feel like that could only benefit from it not having men on it. I uh, I feel there should be an all male view. Didn't they have like many Call of those? It. I believe Joe Rogan the had most. a show called The Man Show. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, it was on for like uh, in the early two thousands, and it was. <sighs> they so they did make an all male view. Yeah, that was. I'm not even kidding. That's probably what it was. <laughs> shit, talking about man shit. It was called the man shit. I really hope it wasn't like. I really hope it was like legitimate male issues and not like. Here's how you put a chainsaw together. No. On was, Sunday. No, it pretty much was like 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 strip tennis with like models and. and oh, that's just shit stupid. And, that that's stereotypical idiocy right there. Well, dude, it's on Comedy Central. I want to know how to take Rogan. apart a plumbing apparatus. I feel like I do, everyone could benefit from that. Exactly, see? So why's it got to be a male-exclusive show? I don't know. Because it's, uh, I don't know. 
I mean, we because have the these. view is just a bunch of chickens. <laughs> you stole that from Family Guy and you Family Guy, Mad TV, Simpsons. Just, just listen to. Um, Why are you so angry at the View? I don't know. Who's the, the really view? old one? I don't know. They change so often. I know. Is, is, that, is Whoopi uh, still on the View? I don't know, but I love Whoopi, so don't 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 diss Whoopi. She's hilarious. That's She's the only one who brings reason to the idiocy. Barbara know. Walters. That's, that's why. It's still that, the stupidest sounding celebrity name. That's ever. I'm Barbara Walters. No, no, no. no. Whoopi Goldberg. What was Whoopi freaking Goldberg? I, <sighs> Sounds Jewish. It, Goldberg. Sherman. Goldstein. <laughs> Whoopi Goldstein. Uh, yeah, like, like I, the only time I would ever say that in is like, Whoopi! I no longer have to speak to Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> oh, God, you're just... You're just the worst type of person. She's hilarious. Didn't you ever yeah. see Hollywood Squares? No, actually, I didn't see Hollywood Squares. You bitch. Get I'm out. Th I'm thinking more of her movies. Oh, um, let's see. There's Ghost. Like Theodore Rex. There's... She which makes a cameo and... Like godly and stupid. She makes a... She's Sister Act. I didn't see Sister Act. Oh, God, neither did I. I saw the Muppets Oz, where she played... Oz. She does cameos. I mean, she does a lot of them. But yeah, Sister Act's what she's known for, and she does... She is phenomenal, just on the clips Luke showed me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he also, yeah, yeah. Didn't uh, Raven Simone do, like, a Broadway? Probably, Sister, yeah, 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 Sister Act was... She probably Broadway. did. She's she's Raven Simone. freaking Simone. The newest, like, craziest... The only person. Disney celebrity to not get pregnant. What about Female. Zac, what, <laughs> I was gonna say, what about Zac Efron? Nah, he's pregnant too, didn't, didn't you? Didn't yeah, I know. Surgery, surgery there, I don't even want to go into it. <sighs> no. It's becoming a woman. Whatever happened? There are some that just don't even like, like Hillary Duff. Did anyone like... See, Hillary Duff's known for actually doing it right. Like, not becoming pregnant, not becoming a slut, and just going on and having a family. Like, she doesn't do anything. Though. No, she doesn't. And just kind of like, uh, I mean, well, the only reason it's, I it's not like she doesn't it. do anything because she's crazy and no one wants to hire her. It's, she's just like, I don't, I don't like want to do it Bynes. anymore. I want to have a family. Like Amanda Bynes. Oh, no, no, no. She's like a Nicole no. Amanda Bynes is like a straight up alcoholic now. I thought she was like schizophrenic and like yes, just had a bunch of you know. It really Bynes. explains how she was able to do that variety show. The Amanda it's really easy when you got six different voices talking at once. Amanda, please. Amanda, please. I found out. That just the, let one of them take over. For one of them. I, I, I found out that the Amanda the Amanda Show website is still like on like you could still go to the Amanda Show website despite it not being updated for like twenty years. So wow, wow. I feel like that's like a like a turret thing. Like you have to have a torrent browsing to go find it. No, you can. No, you can just look it up. Huh. Same thing with the Space Jam website. Yeah. Now that was that was a movie that I think we as one kids big were, advertisement. I know we were duped as kids because we saw the Looney Tunes. It was still cool. And Michael Jordan, and only now when we we're adults we realized, yeah, this show was pretty fucking. This movie was pretty fucking stupid, wasn't it? Was it stupid? It was fantastic. Uh, Aliens come to Earth. The only way we can beat them is through basketball. Amazing. And the only way to beat them is with Michael Jordan, the plastic... The greatest basketball player ever. Styrofoam on sour cream boring actor. It, it was not... Shut up. Do, I, I don't think he made one, like, emotion, like, at all during this... During yes, he did. The, anger. Not even anger. In Just the, like, in the, hey, I'm Michael Jordan. He, and he, it's not like he, I'm gonna he, say, he was "Oh angry. well, it's it's Michael Jordan." It's he's, he was a, he's a angry basketball player. He was angry in the locker room. He was angry in the locker room. Slash, baseball player. And he was confused when he ended up in Looney Slash, Room, like we all would be. Slasher. What about slasher? I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't in a slab. Space Jam wasn't a slasher film. I think, it been, I think it would have been better if it was. It's slash, Donald Duck did it all. Got to handle the spotlight. That's Disney. You mean Daffy Duck, right? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is this is a uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit one where we have we have we have Disney and, and Warner Brothers crossing over, uh, crossing over. Which 
I thought was, I thought that was a much better live action animation. That was movie. very impressive. We need like that's a legitimate. We need a sequel or some sort of follow up. They try to. Act. They're trying to. But it's hard. Oh man, the peepees don't work. Well, it's so hard because I think it's like once in a blue moon and the planets well, align for like, having. It's Disney. also licensing. It, it was a lot easier to manipulate licenses to do all those guys versus now. Although I think Disney owns like everyone, so I don't know why it would be so. No, no, they didn't. Help. It was it was the first time that like Disney and Warner Brothers and all that like came together. Yeah, it's the first time they all came together and did a cartoon. But I'm saying it's like licensing issue now because everybody's everybody owns everybody. Exactly. So it's like now I'm like, wow, Disney, you can't just do it yourself. You own practically everyone except like. I mean, Hell Pulp Function is technically a Disney movie. Yeah, yeah, that's messed up. That is messed up. But anyway, uh, I was thinking more like the fact that Warner Bro- that there's still Warner Brothers, which own perhaps the second most iconic Harry Potter. No, Code of the Barbarian, dude, Bugs Bunny. You know, you knew where I was going with that. <laughs> you knew where I was going with no, that. No, I had no idea. And you intentionally misled. Me. I thought you were going to Harry Potter. <laughs> like that's the only thing I know of with Warner Brothers, Hunger Games. No, that's Legendary Pictures. Which I think is also owned by Disney. No. Is Wait. It? I don't, dude, why are we talking about shitty, um, shitty, uh, I don't know. Teen fiction remakes? I don't know. Well, this is what we call tangent. It's a common thing on a podcast that doesn't have a structure. I don't know. It's, it's just two guys insane. talking about shit. It's insane. Uh, wow. Let's, let's go. Here's my tangent. Five things that don't exist. No, no, no. Yes, we're not. Yes. We're not doing yes, this. We're doing five things that don't exist. Yeah, they're all going to just be racist, aren't they? Yes, they are. First off, a Gaelic-speaking Cambodian. Try and refute that. I, I'm not going to try and refute that because no one would ever think to refute that because it's just so stupid. Number two, a Swahili-speaking Native American. You know. So you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna argue that. Are you something that something like that does exist? No, it does not. A Native American who can speak with Swahili. Damn it! If I wasn't trying to make sure nobody watched this, I would challenge you on it. Hey, go ahead. Nobody's listening. They'll never hear you. God damn it! He's found out my weakness. Number three, a cold Inuit. That's just retarded. Of course they're cold. No. Of course they can't be. They live in the cold daily. Just because we live... That's, that's like saying, hey... They get, know, like, we... one chance at birth, and that's it. After that, nothing. But wait, what do you mean one chance at birth? They get one chance to experience cold. They all fail at it. What the fuck are you even talking about? Know. Just say the rest of us so we can Fine. just get over this stupid... Number segment. four. A Muslim Aborigine. Just keep going. Just keep going. And number five. I'm so fucking sick of this. A Jewish Irishman, otherwise known as a leprechaun. Feel proud of yourself? Yes. Feel proud of yourself that... I'm so glad nobody will hear that. Yeah, nobody will hear this. It's fantastic. (sighs) Oh, Christ. Now your turn. My turn for what? I don't know. Say five impossible things? Yes. Uh, that, the, that you were ever going to come on this podcast again. There, that's one thing. Thank God. Oh, yeah. I'm out of this. The contract is free. The beacons are lit. Tell Gondor I need aid. Oh, this is like This is the first project that you've been a part of with someone who actually... I know. I know. I'm waiting for your number two. You know... <laughs> That was a no blow. That, what? That, I don't know. I don't know what's a low blow. I'm like, what's your number two most impossible thing? Oh, I thought you meant like, oh, this is the only thing. Yeah, now I'm waiting for your second second thing to work. <laughs> no, I was thinking, <laughs> I'm like, damn it, name your second impossible thing, you asshole. I'm not. I'm not humoring this. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, because nobody will hear it. Nobody will hear it, but I don't want to be a part of it still. No. Come on. No. Come on. Okay, fine. Fine. Impossible things that are actually impossible. Uh-huh. 
Um, shit. Impossible things that don't involve just mixing two races, which is entirely possible. It wasn't two races. There's a language and a race, and then a religion and okay, a race. Okay, if it's a language and a race, that's super possible. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Find me a Swahili-speaking Native American. Or a Gaelic-speaking Cambodian. I'll ask one of the two Native Americans that are still alive today. I guarantee they know, because I already asked them. No, you didn't. Yeah, you're right. You, you didn't. Me. You caught me. Ah, uh, jeez, okay. Uh, an Adam Sandler movie that is good. False. Happy Gilmore. I, I think you can make the argument. Happy Madison. That's that's his production company. No, oh, it's Billy Madison. That's that's the name of the movie. Um, Mr. Deeds. You see, you, you say Mr. Deeds. I'm not so sure about Mr. I Deeds. I love Mr. Deeds. Are Mostly just... because Steve Buscem Buscemi and his crazy eyes. <sighs> I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to that squirrel over there. <laughs> I mean, that that's something relevant that we can talk about here. The Ridiculous Six that's coming out on Netflix. There's nothing to talk about other than don't watch it. Other than don't watch it, yeah. But it's something relevant that we can talk about and how... It's not a good... It's, it's, not, not, it's not, a, not a good movie. But here's the, here's the crushing thing. It's Netflix's first original movie. God, did they like... Celebrity packet. They, they, I, I, like they, they listed off like all those names. I didn't even get all those names. Like I saw Danny, I saw Trejo, I saw no Grant. I love Trejo. It's like, like like Hugh Grant. Yeah, Hugh Grant. Yeah, I think it's Hugh Grant. They say, see, that's the thing. They just they just put their last name, so there was just Grant, and I'm like, well, goodness, that could Ooh, that could be like fifty different celebrities. Yeah, Hugh Grant, Alan Grant. Dr. Grant from Jurassic Park. God damn it. Anyway, but 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 I'm focusing on like the main players that are gonna take up the majority of this. We we have Rob Schneider playing a Mexican. <laughs> Hilarious. God. <laughs> like I think he's been every race except his <laughs> own. <laughs> he's been every race. And you the funny thing is, you don't realize it's him. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you I do. I look at him like I have to, it takes me a second, I'm like, wait a minute. That's Rob Schneider. Well, okay, maybe for Good you, work. but I can like like an eight crazy nights when he plays the freaking uh, Asian guy who owns the rest. I'm like, that's fucking Rob Schneider just trying to pretend to be Asian, and it's fucking disgustingly unfunny and just stupid. And then he's like, oh look, he's playing a Mexican. Boy, didn't really take me to take me. I don't know. To, it's kind of, to be fair with the Mexican one, it's hard to tell it's him because like they do a good job in makeup. They had a mustache and, like, aged his face up a little bit. They did. They aged it pretty well. And tanned it. That's, that's like saying it was... Imp it's like saying, oh, I didn't know that was Taylor Lautner playing the inbred hillbilly. No, nah, I totally saw that. That's that's obvious. That's straight up obvious. Well, of course, because it's freaking... Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner. The man who takes the shirt off, it's like, oh, it's Taylor Lautner. <laughs> Which is a dist... <laughs> It's just, I actually kind of want to see that scene where you see, like, Taylor Lautner with, like, his abs, just, like, his all that, except having that, like, fucking buck tooth, retarded, cross-eyed look that he's in his contract. Shirt. He's not allowed to wear shirts. Oh, goodness. He, he, and, he and, of course, you have shirts. Adam Sandler as the can-do-no-wrong, badass, white man, raised by Indians, bank robber, who just... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You say that, but the reason why I'm bringing I'm bringing this up so much is because uh, at, at work, at yeah. work at Barnes and Noble is where I work. Uh, they've been watching. They've been showing Pixels in the movie section. Oh god! And I've watched that movie from beginning to end five times during. Don't you my have shifts. like control? Can you be like, no, no we're no, not we... watching this anymore. No, they're gonna watch Toy Story four. Oh yeah, like I'm really excited for Toy Story. Fucking That's what they four. used to play at Sears. They would put uh, Toy Story four, and then they do The Dark Knight, which I found hilarious. Like there's like like there's like a schedule for movies to come up, but um, like like we have The Man from Uncle that we're supposed to be showing, which is which I thought was at least okay. I'd watch it. Um, it doesn't have Rob Schneider in it. I'll watch it. <laughs> Uh, but here's here's the thing though, like in Pixels, 
everyone's. I mean, the, the book's already closed on Pixels. It's bad. It's <laughs> Nobody bad. said it was good. I know. Everyone's but, watching this and going, "It's going to be bad." But here's the thing. Like, like it, it defied expectations of how bad it could be because it's not only a bad Adam Sandler movie, which is now just becoming an Adam Sandler movie, it's, like, insultingly bad. See, that's going to become the new thing. <laughs> We're gonna, you know how there's, like, just bad horror movies and just bad films you watch? Yeah. It's, it's gonna, there's going to be a whole new genre, just bad Adam Sandler movies. That's what he's trying to do. Like, he's trying to become a genre. Like, here's the thing. It's just, and he's succeeding. I know he's succeeding, and uh, it's just infuri- It's just infuriatingly, insultingly bad because it's two thousand fifteen. Well, that's the weird thing because he does have good ones. Yeah, he had good ones like twenty years ago. I like yeah. Click. Okay, you are probably the only person in the world. You didn't who like likes Click? Him. No, because it was Goosebumps. You got Christopher Walken as Death. Like, care. It was goosebumps. Have a remote that lets you control your life. Goose. Whatever. I'm I, just going to watch and laugh. A campy kids, kids show did a better rendition of that premise than Click. God, that goosebumps. My father used to read that. That was my bedtime story as a child. It was kind of fucked up. It was. I mean, also I know beware of the snowman. The stories aren't particularly scary, but if you're, like, a little kid... Don't yeah, I know, better. right? Yeah. That's a good fucking... See, my, my, mine were Choose Your Own Adventure. No, mine were uh, Beware the Snowman, which is great when you live in Illinois and it's winter. For six months out of the year. Exactly. And let's see. Uh, what's the one with the Swamp Beast? Which one? Weren't there, like, multiples? No, there's one with, like... Uh, or Swamp Thing... Do it and not beware the monster. What is it? Something the monster. Shit. You uh, see that? That's that's something that that. Can oh, be don't go to sleep. That was wonderful. <laughs> I mean, now, yeah, especially now on the internet, the the implications of that saying goes. Oh my god, that's that's terrifying. Uh huh. Even as an adult, like just browsing the internet of like don't go to sleep is just. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get fu- it's fucking scary. It's fucking scary. It is what it scary. is. Scary. Um, I mean, I am scared easily, scary. but to an extent. And I'll say that's yeah, fucking you, scary. You just, you just scream a lot. I do. There's spam a lot, and then there's you, and that's called scream a lot. The first Sinister was scary. It was. It was scary. scary. Sinister two. Eh. It was. Not scary. It was eh. But we got to see the ghouls start moving around and doing shit. Yeah, and uh, and then we relied too much on the kids. Yeah. And that was it, stupid. It, it became a typical... What they did was, it was a good idea, poorly executed. I'm going to say no on both. No, no. It was a good idea, poorly executed. Cause it was... Kids aren't scary. Yes, they are. Have you ever seen <laughs> Children of the Corn? No, but I've seen... And you don't know fear. Yeah, are you talking about the, t- the Stephen King, like, made-for-TV... Or was it wasn't made-for-TV? No, it that's... This, this, Chuck Milley Court isn't Stephen King. Yeah, it is. It's a yeah, Stephen King short story. Children of the Corn? Yeah. That's his. Yeah. And when it was, like, a made-for-TV movie, or, like... Pretty much it was a film... I don't know when it was a film. I don't think it was a made for TV film. It was actual like horror throw shown in theaters film. But I'm I'm like almost that I'm yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it's a Stephen King short story. Like ninety nine percent positive. I don't think it is. Yeah. Alright, fine, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Without using the the computer, I'll I'll just Google it. Just Google it. Um on my portable computer, which is now, which is also my phone, also known as a portable computer. Children oh. of the Corn. Uh, um, Children of the Corn. Yeah, oh, yep, yeah. a short story written by Stephen King. It is huh. published in 1977. How about that? Yeah, you see, that's the thing, though, because <laughs> you know more Stephen King than I do, and I was like. Yeah, yeah, it was written by Stephen King, and you're like, I what is it, was. though? 
And, and then, was. then that makes me doubt myself because, like, well, shit, he knows more Stephen King shit. Than I, I do, I and I'm like, wow, okay. Well, I'll see, the only collection of his short stories I have is Skeleton Crew. Yeah. And it's not Children of the Corn isn't in there. But back to, back to the actual film, um, I saw a nostalgia critic review of Children of the Corn and showed and it showed like a pretty decent like of like what's supposed to be scary. Children aren't scary. Children are frightening. This... <laughs> I'll put it this way: In Children of the Corn that move that was like downright funny for for I'll like put the, it this way. The, the you give a kid a knife. That's frightening. Look, if Sinister 2 has taught me anything, it's that kids are not coordinated enough for murder. Yeah, that, and they shouldn't get up from bed and hit with a truck. Yeah, that kid, that kid <laughs> he stayed was out. down. He was out, and he needed to stay down. And then, um, and then it was like, it was like, like he's chasing him through the cornfield with a sickle in one hand and a heavy camera in the other. How are you, you were not coordinated enough. How is he not top heavy? Yeah. And, and that How is was he like, not curving to... He to like slashes the officer's like hand, like takes off a finger or two. Is it really that sharp that it can do that with like a kid? It's pretty dull. It? Yeah. To me, I mean, it doesn't look like he sharpened the thing. And then, it, and then, there. See, that's another. That's another continuity error. We've we've been shown that it's like kids don't. The kids don't manipulate things in the real world. But then it shows like when they are haunted, when they're like trying to find the family, that they do. No, we saw that in the first one. Did we? Yeah, we saw him moving around and moving shit. In the first film? Yeah. When? When the kids sleepwalking. I mean... No, we're, no, we're talking I, about the ghost kids. Yeah. Yeah, they're up moving around. They were they were shown a lot better in, in the first one, though. Like, Because here's the thing, they were subtle, like they were... Cre- they, that, that's, I'll take my I'll take my redemption. They, they didn't do a lot. I mean, but that's the thing. They did as much as they were supposed to. Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying is like they still they were able to interact with stuff in the yeah. first one. I just don't remember them interacting with stuff because I was too I was too frightened. You were too busy things. screaming. I was too busy warning. Uh, Ethan you were too Hawk busy about reacting, about... screaming. I, I was trying to warn Ethan Hawk. Nobody can warn Ethan Hawke. I was trying to warn him. I was trying to, to tell him to get out of there. All his films, he makes his own path to death. Yep, and that's kind of how it happened in The Purge. Yep. Another movie that we were duped into thinking was good. Possibly. What's that other film he was in? I'm drawing a blank. It wasn't the Genesis. It was. That's the one they made us watch in biology. You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific because we sh- we saw a lot of it. <laughs> I don't think there was a nature birthing film with Ethan Hawke. Nope. No, there was not. Um. Let's see. Ethan Hawke. He was in Boyhood. That's not it. Was, uh, Predestination. That's definitely not it. A uh, good kill. No. Before Midnight, no. Sinister, Regression, yes. Before Sunrise. Oh, Gattaca? There it is. Yeah, he was in Gattaca. There it is. Doesn't that. he die in that? I don't think we finished Gattaca. You know what I want? Uh, no, we want... No, we, well, first off, idiot, we saw it in Herman's class, not biology. I did. Why would you see Gattaca in biology? Because it was honors bio. And st- we were talking about the implications of... If you, if we reach the point in society where we could genetically predict um, what conditions a person would have, would we essentially become a society where it was essentially a moral thing? We became a generation. We were of studying racists. genetics. Yeah, we pretty much became eugenics snobs. That's what eugenics is. Now we we uh we saw it in. in in uh, our English class, mm-hmm. after um, after our Unit on Ender's game, uh, not exactly not exactly sure why because it didn't really segue that well into it. But uh, I didn't argue because it was Gattaca. Who cared? It was good. And Herman just let you do what you wanted. Yep. Uh, While well, he made out with his mail order bride. Mail order bride smoked in the 
My theory always was the man smoked so much pot, his entire career as a teacher was just him coming down from the high. He definitely had like a like a Ben Stein almost monotone. Oh my god! Like, like if you put Ben glass. Stein and our and our English teacher together, <laughs> same person. Oh my god! It's scary. Class, come to attention. Now we're going to read. I got that man to laugh. I seriously got him to laugh, like legitimate. I'm sure that was a treat. It was amazing. We were we were in we were talking about Jurassic Park and how the raptors were free and moving around the island and I'm like he's like, So does anyone have a theory how the raptors are moving around the island? I go, they dug out <laughs> They dug out. <laughs> they expecting... dug their way out. <laughs> uh, you see I was expecting a joke, but uh... Nope. He heard that and just laughed. I was like, Yes. I did it. Aww. Well, I, was, I was expecting you to like show off some actual no. comedic chops there. No, I was just like they dug out. They dug their way out. Wow, that seems almost disappointing. See, I was thinking Lost World, where they were digging under the fence. I'm like, hey, if they can do it in the Lost World, they can do it in the Jurassic Park. Can we? Can we just all like just take a moment and just be like, can we just have the Jurassic Park be Jurassic World? Not, not Jurassic everything World. else. Jurassic World. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, everything else is now in existence. Yeah. He's like, no, no, but the Lost World was like, no, 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 sorry. The movie was <laughs> Lost like, World was all about Jeff Goldblum being Jeff Goldblum with dinosaurs. Like we need that. And you see, I'm going to save this baby T-Rex and myself from falling off this cliff. That's a lot of shit. It is. Just like, that's a lot of fish. I have a Jeff Goldblum cracker. It's me in your mouth. Oh, yeah. Chutzpah. That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of shit. Oh, God. You see, that would, movie would have been fine if Godzilla breathed fire. That's all people wanted. He didn't, he didn't breathe no, he radiation didn't. breath? Nope, he didn't. What did he even do in that one? He just, he Stopped just, just, around New York and the military shot at him. And then killed him? Tried to. Tried to. They did. Not like the... Not like the... After, the, after he entangles himself in a bridge, which is hilarious. Not like the uh, surprisingly good but still kind of disappointing Godzilla 2004. Oh, yeah. That was... Eh. The only reason I say that's disappointing is because... I, and I'm sure... Again, the books are close on this. As in, it's already been... Yeah, that's well established. That Peter, that not Peter, um, Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. Peter Cranston. Peter Cranston. <laughs> Peter, Frampton. <laughs> Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton and, and and Brian Cranston make a baby. No, Brian Cranston. And it's called Iron Paul. <laughs> needs needed to just not die. Maybe the son could have died. See, so, yeah, I, I would have been okay with that. See, so, that was the thing. Dying, and you, Brian you're Cranston like living. You tease Brian Cranston and then he dies. Yeah, you, so, you have Tom Billing for you? Brian Cranston. And he's only in like 20 minutes of the movie. I know. It's like, oh, sweet. Brian Cranston's going to be like some expert proving how to kill Godzilla. And it's like, nope, he's dead. What the hell? Yeah. And then, and that movie also did give us a, a very quotable moment. <laughs> Let them fight. Let them fight. You just want to see giant monsters fight, right? Shh, shh. Let them fight. Let them fight. Let them fight. You know, we could easily Let get everything fight. We could easily get rid Open of Open the monsters. shoe. Let them fight. We, we could easily just stop them before they get to the heavily populated. No, let them fight. So you just want to see giant monsters fight, don't you? Let them fight. Let them fight. Totally. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't care how many lives get put in jeopardy. I want to see giant monsters fight. Don't we all? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can rebuild. We can rebuild. We can so, repopulate. So if, they, if they can, if if uh, Godzilla can be. Can, can successfully be revived from obscurity. What other franchise do you think could be saved uh, if given uh, to the like, right hands? And like who could do? Given a, I don't know. I like that Frankenstein with Harry Potter. Really? I think that looks cool. I think they're doing a uh, well, like what they did with Robert Downey Jr. and Sherlock Holmes. Like, ah, uh, yeah, it's like it's dark, it's edgy. 
not dark. It, it's like it's straight up. They're making a mystery into okay. like an action into like an action comedy. They pretty much put Iron Man in the sh- in 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 Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. Although to be fair, I'll give Robert Dooney, Downey Jr. this. That is probably the most accurate Holmes we've had in a while. Why? And it, if you've actually read Sherlock Holmes, he is a straight up drug abuser. He is, but like straight up drug abused. I don't think that's what people had issue with, or at least not like a lot of people. I think it's more of that. This isn't a mystery. This is Sherlock Holmes and Watson, uh, just shooting, shooting up. He did have a gun, and yeah, he had a gun, but it's it's not what he rarely used it. Yeah, I know because it was a mystery. He was a detective. Yeah, he could deduce I, what section I, of the city you were in by the I mud did, on your shoes. I did, and he and Holmes is an avid fighter, like a boxer. But that's it. He what? But he didn't. What are you talking about? Like, like no, he, it's well established in the books. He liked to box. He liked to box, but that wasn't the and case. He did box. It wasn't the case of like, oh yes, if I if I punch him at a ninety degree angle in the right face, it's gonna break his. Yeah, he did that. What, when did he do that? I don't know if he did that specifically, but I, <laughs> I, the man's intelligent. I'm sure he could figure out. Hey, like, like I said, it's not that. My problem isn't that he could do these things. It's that there was no mystery to be solved, and it was just they turned him into an action hero, and that's Ooh. not what Sherlock Holmes. Was. I felt, I felt to be fair, Robert Downey Jr. Probably, I, I felt. I'll give it this. Junior probably did the most accurate homes we've seen. That you know of. Probably, yeah, so far. Have you, have you seen Sher- the BBC, like, Sherlock? No, I haven't. I probably should. Everybody, eh, no. Nobody should. Because it's BBC and people <laughs> need to stop. Pe- people, Big black the, comedy hour? No. They, they're the type of people who probably like the new Doctor Who, too. Oh, God. Which I just don't find appealing. That's just sexy British men. That's all you need to know. Talking science. I mean, like, we have a whole section in Barnes & Noble's dedicated to Doctor Who shit. Like, all the way from the beginning. Like, the first Doctor. It's pretty impressive to see the progression. But still, it's like... (laughs) Old man to now sexy middle-aged man. With, like, the the beads comb over swoop that everybody Uh remembers. Yes. Although now I think he's going back to being an old man. Slowly. Slowly. And they've promised that it's going to end soon, but no, it's, it's not. not. It's, it's like The Simpsons. Except that actually it does kind of need to end. Yeah, that's getting close. Getting close, it's it's pretty much there. Like, this newest season... Oh my god. I'm, I might be late on the boat and like not seeing like a lot of this... I'm not a lot of Simpsons. I, I'm with you. It's just, but this, like, this is just... bad. This is just like, I've... Like, 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 like um... The newest episode that I saw was, and and stop me if you heard this before, but Lisa has trouble making friends at school. Oh God, that's only been done sixty times. So, so there's this new kid. Who? Who is the celebrity guest new kid? I I don't know. I don't know who the new celebrity rich kid it's, is. It's, it's a it's celebrity a, guest new kid. It's a rich kid who essentially just buys Lisa's friendship, but then acts like a total bitch. That's funny. <laughs> it, you'd think so, but it's, I didn't laugh at all. I know, right? It's like, wow, you you got some setup here, and there's no comedy. It's kind of like the the barbecue episode that we watch. It's like at no point was there ever a moment where I even got a, a, a chuckle of like, <laughs> <laughs> not like the narcolepsy episode. <laughs> yeah, the narcolepsy. I feel like Simpson. The- where's your shoes? Narcolepsy. narcolepsy. Ooh, sorry, sorry. See, at least that episode had... See, that's a classic Simpsons joke. That's just a classic Simpsons... Simpson, where's your shoes? Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> See, that's just good Simpsons. Yeah, except I'm... that was like... That was the two-second bit in a whole episode so of nothing else. bad, yeah. And they even did the whole dream cop-out multiple times. Oh, my God. I hate that. It was just... First, it's done. So Second, cliche. it's annoying. Third time, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Fifth time, it's like, give it up! It's time to go home now. Oh, Jesus. 
What else was there? You didn't name your third impossible thing. Because I'm done with this impossible thing. We've taken an hour-long tangent because I don't want to do an impossible thing. You, you're just avoiding the work, you lazy bum. Okay, fine. Impossible thing. A dehumidifier that also humidifies. That's a Stephen Wright joke. <laughs> That's not a... Actually, I don't even know Stephen Wright jokes. I know plenty of them. Steve, you, you know them. I know them because they're sarcastic, dry, and no, sometimes like, funny. I spilled spot remover on my dog. Now he's gone. I accidentally put my car key in my house key. Not nah, my house key. I've accidentally put my car key in my house door. Started up my house. Started driving it on the freeway. Parked it on the freeway, started yelling at all the cars to get off my lawn. Yeah, so they're dry, sarcastic, and almost and sometimes funny. Yes. Is what you're trying to say. I use my So I use my TV remote in my garage to start flipping through all the different houses. And then use my garage remote on my TV. The screen came up, there's little people inside. I'm, I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking let's my head see, right Let's now. see how many more I can pull off. Okay, uh, how about instead of that... We my talk... favorite chair is a wicker chair. It's my favorite chair because I stole it. Okay, the only reason I'm not laughing is because you've already told that joke <laughs> I know. five times. I was going to see if you'd laugh again. I'm like, wait a minute, you've heard that one and laughed. Yeah. <laughs> Once. The girl who was in it was almost killed. <laughs> Oi. Hey, this has definitely been an interesting first episode oh, yeah. of the podcast no one will listen to. No, I've stopped listening. <laughs> I've stopped listening. He stopped talking, and I'm sure, uh, I'm sure that you we're are all out there too. Yep. If you sit through this whole uh, this whole podcast and waiting for something at the end, I salute you. See you next time on How I Sat on My Nuts. We're not going with that. Yes, we are. <laughs>